Welcome to Public Health IT, Unit 3. This unit discusses interoperability standards in public health IT. The learning objectives for the interoperability standards in public health IT unit are 1. Explain and describe the meaningful use and MIPS Advancing Care Public Health Objective. 2. Describe the public health engagement process required for meaningful use compliance. 3. Know the ONC certified capabilities of EHRs that support public health capabilities. And 4. List and discuss the public health IT standards used for meaningful use and MIPS Advancing Care Public Health Objectives, or referred to in the ONC Standards Advisory. This lecture describes the meaningful use and MIPS requirements for public health reporting. The EHR Incentive Program, also known as Meaningful Use, requires that eligible hospitals and eligible providers engage with public health authorities to implement data submission interfaces that use certified health IT. Public health reporting objectives have been part of the Meaningful Use Program since Stage 1. However, this unit focuses on latest stages, Modified Stage 2 and Stage 3, since they are most relevant now. Public Health and Clinical Data Registry Reporting is also included in the Merit-Based Incentive Payment System, MIPS. MIPS is a program for paying Medicare Part B doctors starting in 2017. 25% of payment is based on the MU objectives, renamed Advancing Care for MIPS. The MU Public Health objectives are included in the Advancing Care part of MIPS. For 2016 and 2017, eligible hospitals attesting to meaningful use must meet the modified Stage 2 objective for public health. There are four measures, and the eligible hospital must meet three of them. The measures are Measure 1, Immunization Registry Reporting, Measure 2, Syndromic Surveillance Reporting, Measure 3, Specialized Registry Reporting, and Measure 4, Electronic Reportable Lab Results Reporting. They could meet the specialized registry reporting one more than once with different kinds of registries. Notice that Modified Stage 2 asks for specialized registry reporting and does not distinguish between public health affiliated registries and ones not affiliated with a public health authority. Meaningful Use Public Health Reporting for Eligible Providers, Modified Stage 2 must be in active engagement with a public health authority to submit data for two or more of the following measures. Measure 1. Immunization Registry Reporting. Measure 2. Syndromic Surveillance Reporting. And Measure 3. Specialized Registry Reporting. The eligible provider can submit to more than one kind of specialized registry. According to the proposed rule for MIPS, Advancing Care, the eligible clinician must be in active engagement with a public health authority to submit data for the following. Measure 1. Immunization Registry Reporting. Measure 2. Syndromic Surveillance Reporting. Measure 3. Electronic Case Reporting. Measure 4. Public Health Registry Reporting. And Measure 5. Clinical Data Registry Reporting. They must meet Measure 1 for the base score and then can earn one additional point for each additional measure met. The Meaningful Use Stage 3 Public Health Objective requires that eligible hospitals be in active engagement with a public health authority to submit data for three of the following. Measure 1. Immunization Registry Reporting. Measure 2. Syndromic Surveillance Reporting. Measure 3. Electronic Case Reporting. Measure 4. Public Health Registry Reporting. Measure 5. Clinical Data Registry Reporting. And Measure 6. Reportable Lab Results Reporting. Note that the 2017 Outpatient Perspective Payment System, or OPPS, rule may reduce this requirement to three out of six. The hospital could choose to report to more than one public health or clinical data registry. Also notice that for MU Stage 3 and MIPS, registries are classified as public health registries and non-public health, or rather, clinical data registries. Similarly, Meaningful Use Stage 3 requires eligible providers to attest to three out of six public health measures.
However, the 2017 OPPS rule may change it to two out of six. The measures are Measure 1, Immunization Registry Reporting. Measure 2, Syndromic Surveillance Reporting. Measure 3, Electronic Case Reporting. Measure 4, Public Health Registry Reporting. Measure 5, Clinical Data Registry Reporting. And Measure 6, Reportable Lab Results Reporting. Note that eligible hospitals and eligible provider requirements are very similar, except that reportable results reporting is only applicable for hospitals. Both the Meaningful Use and MIPS rules require that the hospital or doctor be in active engagement with a public health authority. Active engagement means, quote, the process of moving towards sending production data to a public health agency or clinical data registry, or is sending production data to a public health agency or clinical data registry, end quote. The possible states of active engagement are 1. Completed registration to submit data, 2. Testing and validation, or 3. Production. In this way, hospitals and doctors are not penalized if the public health authority is not ready to accept data. This lecture discussed the public health objective in Meaningful Use Modified Stage 2, Stage 3, and summarized how the public health objective measures play a role in both the Meaningful Use and the MIPS programs. It explains how providers can actively engage with local public health authorities to meet the measures associated with the public health objective.